Okay, guys. And the last position is near arm. So we did forearm, head. Surprise him when he's defending all that. I usually jump on the legs. Or we go near arm if he offers up the near arm. Or I want to transition to a different position. So knee and belly, everyone knows, is kind of a transitionary position to mount or rear mount. There's other stuff how to get to there. Other people teach that. That's cool. But you can also go to crucifix and back crucifix. Okay? And in MMA, you might want to do that. It depends where the cage is, how good his get-ups are. Everything always depends. So in grappling, you have to flow. So um, first, first technique is if I'm in a knee ride, a single knee ride, and he, he decides to like, he pushes on me like there. Or sometimes it ends up here. Either way, that means he's dead, checkmate, armbar. Juju Katami. Okay, so if he goes there, go ahead. So we're in here, he pushes there. I'll come here, boom. So, I'm sorry, he already tapped the armbar. But look what I got here. BMAC, dual submission choke, armbar. Armbar, good, because I'm raising his shoulder up above the mat. So if you look at my back, my back is far away from the mat. If I did a regular armbar, look how close my back, big difference, this much difference. If I raise his shoulder biomechanically, so I call it the BMAC, biomechanical armbar dual submission and choke, and here and here. On the street, maybe don't break his arm, but give up, give up, give up, give up. Okay, so one more time on that. Uh, actually pivot so they can see Go low. Here, mm, okay. Those are the Go to one knee. I'm going to, as he pushes, I'm going to slide my foot, jump my foot into his armpit. So as he pushes here, I'm going to jump that to there. Okay? So, ready? So push, show. So I got my position. Choke with my feet. Coco, toes, neck, artery, heel, other side of the neck and pinch armbar. But the armbar is way off the ground because I'm lifting the shoulder. So when the doctors when I stand by mechanical and his defense, all the defenses are not as easy for him. Hitchhiker, whatever, it's actually a better armbar in all ways. Plus you get the option of a choke. Especially in a street fight, it's very good because sometimes you don't want to break his arm. Maybe you just give up. Okay, so that's number one. Anytime this guy pushes, it would be the same thing. I'll go really slow for careful sake. If he ever, ever kind of ended up here, I'm just going to take the arm. I went slow because very dangerous. Anytime arm bar or knee bar under arm, under armpit is more dangerous. If you fall back, it's broken. So be careful. Now, Next, instead of him pushing your shoulder or under your armpit, sometimes he'll decide to push your hip and try controlling your far hip. Right? So I'm trying to pressure in and do all this stuff, and he's blocking my hip. I bring it in, and knee staple, crucifix. So now knee staple, top mounted crucifix. If I was MMA, so go cut the togi, maybe I want to get elbows in the end of round. I'm only going to show one submission today, one I made up. I cover his mouth and nose. So we must on, push sideways. He cannot roll because I have his arm. I bring my elbow into his neck. And submission. I cut off his artery. It actually takes about 15, 20 seconds. I cut off his artery with my elbow in his neck. Plus I smother his breathing. So we'll kind of talk to him. glove better. He can't roll. If I just did this, he could roll, but I have his arm. So he cannot roll out. Then I open up his neck. And I drop the hip. Okay, so I'm here, I'm trying to open him up, but he pushes my hip, I pivot my hip in, staple it down, boom, top mount a crucifix, maybe bing, 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 if it's MMA, if not, and choke, okay. pressure point pain, but really, I've choked someone out slowly from this position before, if you get it on the artery, it'll compress. If I did this, I'll eventually, it's pain, but I'll eventually choke him out. Even though the other artery is kind of open, if you compress one artery slowly, completely, to shut, they'll slowly go to sleep usually. 
Okay. Um, next. Uh, if he pushes hip, let me see, one second. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, okay. Next, guys. I want to set up different position. Let's say I'm in Kesakatami or Kazuri Kesakatami. Modified Kesakatami under. I just want to go to control the turn. So I'm here, switch, wrist, pin, down, up, knee on chest. Now I control this arm. Pull, maybe submission. I can even rotate here and break his form. Now because I rotate his fist, his hand. So there is a submission there. Where I pull him up, 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 up. And I turn him. See, I can control him. I'm just showing you control him by moving this arm. <laughs> Sorry. He's almost done. Finished. Almost. So, Kazuri Kesa, same mount. Switch. Kazuri Kesa, wrist grab, wrist pin, knee on chest. Now I pull up and I take the back. Pull up. And I come to crucifix. Crucifix position. From crucifix position, maybe one hand choke. If not, pain compliance choke thing. Pressure point and pain compliance. Or, or switch to neck crank. Okay, you switch your arm, under hook, and wear body up very carefully. Elbows, hammer fist, always option. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, so I have his hand. If I can grab that, awesome, I can probably play with stuff here. <laughs> this left. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can switch sometimes. Oh, switch. Now watch this. Push his head. Push his head. Oh, push his head. Ah, give up. Give up. Hey, give up. No, give up. Give up. Give up. Give up. Give up. This is Yadviga. It's a way of going from knee and belly to back crucifix to Yadviga shoulder lock. So a lot of submissions there. Last time. And then repeat up for the day. So, side mount. Kazuri Chesa, grab the wrist. Grab the hand, four fingers if you can. Turn the hand out. Subluxation, supination, subluxation, pronation, pronation, pronate the joint, pronate the joint. Here, I also do that with guillotine defense, because sometimes right there, there's a lock. Some guys will tap to that alone if you pin the hand and go here with supination. So I, I defend guillotine chokes and guard this way, actually. Um, I'm going to yank up, palm to my face, pull up, boom, trap, come out here, bam, to crucifix. Adjust. Now, so go crack Togi MMA. Street. Boom. One hand choke. If not, pain compliance choke and pressure point. If not, how power one half and no half. I don't know how many Nelson. Three quarter Nelson. Power half Nelson. Then switch. Careful. Kyoskete. Switch. Underhook. Neck crank. Body weight, neck crank. Here, play. Okay. Then here, switch, push, stick shift. Try to switch to under. You want the arm pointed down towards his feet. From here, pressure. Swim out. Swim up. And now I have. Shoulder, elbow, lock. Yad viga. Sambo, yad viga. Okay? So, it's a lot, but now we finish. So, if he pushes hip, he pushes arms, B mech, dual armbar, and choke. He pushes hip, top mounted crucifix. If you want to enter to the back from side mount, you can, Kazuri Kesa, put the arm and go to back crucifix. So, 
not only is knee ride for going to mount or rear mount, but top mounted crucifix and back mounted crucifix as well. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's a lot of stuff to learn. Please look at all of them together as one and mostly ride with heavy body weight mechanics. Please subscribe, thumbs up, share. Thank you very much, and I'll catch you on the flip side.